This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the March 2023 release. The full list of features can be found in the March 2023 version 20.23.3 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're highlighting the following features. With the Awards tool, observers can now share achievements to LinkedIn profiles. Make content topics visible when created in new content experience. Org Unit Management now has improved searching and additional filtering in the Org Unit Editor. The Org Unit Editor tool features improved workflow in Org Unit Management. Easily change language preferences using the User menu in User Management and Settings. And finally, a summary of changes for all the other features this month. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. Learners can now share achievements from the awards tool directly to their LinkedIn profiles, simplifying the process and no longer requiring either a third-party tool or creating a link to the award first. Shared awards appear in the Licenses and Certifications section of Learners' LinkedIn profiles. Previously, awards could be shared to LinkedIn by first sharing the award to Badger or creating a public link to the award and then copying the link to LinkedIn. Navigate to My Awards and click the Share link under the award you wish to share. Click Share to LinkedIn. Verify the award details. You can optionally choose to share with your LinkedIn network. The awards feature implements the following pie item. D 5824 Share badges directly to LinkedIn. Thank you to all those who put forward this Pi suggestion to implement this feature. The Awards feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the d2l.tools.awards.linkedin-enabled configuration variable is set to on at the org level. When set to on, a sharing option at the course level, on the course awards page, becomes available. By default, this is set to on when the configuration variable is enabled. To simplify instructor workflows, this feature adds the new configuration variable d2l.tools.content.lessons.newtopics are visible by default. Administrators can use the configuration variable to determine if content topics in the new content experience should be automatically hidden or visible by default when they are created. Previously, newly created topics were always hidden, requiring instructors to toggle the topic's visibility to allow learners access. Navigate to Admin Tools, Config Variable Browser, and select d2l.tools.content.lessons.newtopics are visible by default. To cascade the configuration to org unit types, navigate to Cascading org unit types and click Edit. Select the desired org unit type or types. Then click Save and Close. To add the configuration to a specific org unit, navigate to Override Values and click Add Value. Enter the org unit ID or click Select Org Unit. Lastly, change the value to On and click Save. The New Content Experience feature is available to all clients who have New Content Experience enabled. To enable, set the configuration variable d2l.tools.content.lessons.newtopics are visible by default to on. By default, this is set to off. Note that the default visibility of any new assignment, whether created from within the new content experience or from within the assignment tool, is governed by the current configuration variable d2l.tools.dropbox.newfoldervisibility. This is not affected by the new configuration variable. To improve the user experience when searching within the org unit editor, the search engine is updated to include pre-filter options for org unit type and relationship. The new filters help administrators find specific org unit types and orphaned or childless org units in the search results. Previously, the More Actions menu contained links to view orphaned org units and those without children. The search field also required that a user entered at least one character. Click either the Org Unit Type button, the Relationships button, or both, and select the desired filter options from the drop-down menus. 
Filters are automatically applied after being selected. You can search for an org unit by entering a search term into the Search Org Units field. Click the magnifying glass to search. Partial search terms can be used. Leave the field blank to return all results. The Org Unit Management feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. This feature consolidates the Org Unit Editor and Org Unit Type Editor workflows and permission sets to increase ease of use when configuring the organization structure. Creating and managing the Org Unit Types used within Brightspace is now accessible via the Manage Types button. In addition, the Org Unit Type Editor is removed as a standalone option. Org Unit Type Editor permissions are moved to Org Unit Editor. The Org Unit Management feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. A new language selector is available in the user menu to easily change the language setting to the user's preferred language. Only languages that are enabled by your organization are available for selection. Previously, a user had to navigate to Account Settings or use a custom installed widget with a complex workflow. Users can still select a language through Account Settings. In Brightspace, click your username and select the current language from the drop-down menu. Click the desired language and then click Save. The User Management and Settings feature implements the following Pi items. D8920, Language Toggle feature, and D7508, Preferred Language Selector. Thank you to Ryan Overmeyer and all those who put forward these Pi suggestions to implement this feature. The User Management and Settings feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. Prevent duplicate calendar events on copy or import to reduce performance issues with the Calendar tool. Prevent duplicate LTI links on copy to reduce performance issues with copy course components. Language Management now features a single point of update for Mastery View language terms. In New Content Experience Lessons, the new edit experience is now default. Adapt a player to match available space or video resolution while using ISF plugin with Media Library. And lastly, easily assess merits for evaluated rubrics using institutional logos with the rubrics tool. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the March 2023 version 20.23.3 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!